This is an introduction to Starry Sky Stacker version 1.4. I'm going to illustrate it for you today with some images from Kaja Seidel. There's a link to her website at the end of this video. So I'm going to begin by selecting all the images. Select one and Command A to get them all. I hit open and all the images are read in. Now with version 1.4 I can read in TIFF files but also I can read in RAW files. Reading RAW files might be the preferred way to do things now. I do not have RAW files for this sample set, so we're working with the TIFF images. Also, unlike previous versions uh, where I recommended against using dark frames, I now strongly recommend the use of dark frames, and it's possible to make master dark frames with Starry Sky Stacker, and there's a video on that. Okay, so all the images have been read in, they've been aligned, and the quality has been estimated. The quality number can be seen here, and it varies between 1 and possibly as low as 0, except an image would have to be really bad to be 0. And this is a measure of how much the, each image differs from the image that's given the value of 1. The image that's given the value of 1 is the one uh, that has the highest contrast with a simple contrast measure. Uh, and the cutoff for the automatic selection of which images to align is 0.75. And that seems to work quite well in most cases. Although you do want to come down and select this image and have a look at it and make sure that uh, it is good. And you might want to adjust uh, the images that you're uh, including. The way you adjust that, uh, one thing you can do is you can just move the slider. You can come back here and you can see a line through means it's not being included. You can also include and exclude individual images. You can option click to exclude all. Now you can't composite because you need to include at least something to a composite. You can include all. And you can slide this back over to, let's say, 75 like it was. And we can say composite. Now we've have a total of five different compositions available to us that we can look at. The default is dark median. So this is the removes outliers and then takes the 40th percentile. There's median, which removes outliers and then takes the 50th percentile. So dark median is just a tiny bit darker than uh, the regular median. I think dark median is better because the noise in the night sky tends to bias to the bright. So aiming below the 50th percentile uh, seems to help. Uh, mean is the average, arithmetic average, after outlier removal. And then there's two more here which might be of interest. There's max, which takes the brightest value at each location, and that might be useful if you're trying to recover things moving through the night sky, like meteors, uh, satellites, and if you want, airplanes. And min, it takes the minimum value at each location, so that's a darker image. And there may be uses for this in some cases. You can select whichever you want and just say save current image and save. You can save multiple if you want to blend them for some reason. And so we select mean, say save current image, and we can save that one as well. And we're done. Again, thanks to Katia Seidel for letting me use her images to illustrate Starry Sky Stacker. And for more information, see this link.